So, Hotel Transylvania 3 is now the third movie in the Hotel Transylvania franchise. Once again, stars Adam Sandberg, Andy Sandberg, Selena Gomez, Kevin James, David Spade, Steve Buscemi, Fran Drescher. Also joining is Keegan-Michael Key, Molly Shannon, Catherine Hahn, Jim, Jim Goffigan, and Mel Brooks. The plot of this new film basically revolves around Dracula and his friend, monster friends, including his daughter, takes a vac summer vacation from providing everyone else's vacation at the hotel. They embark on a vacation on a, launch, on a luxury monster cruise ship so he can take the vacation. It's smooth sailing for Drax Pack as the monsters indulge in all of the shipboard fun the crew has had to offer. From monster volleyball to exotic excursions and catching up on their moon tans. But the moon vacation turns to a nightmare when the Mavis realizes Drac has fallen for the mysterious captain of the ship, Erica, who hides a dangerous secret that could destroy all of Monster Kind. So, basically, that's what we got dealing with in this newer film. We are three movies into Hotel Transylvania movies, and I haven't even talked about the first two on my channel yet. This one was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed Hotel Transylvania 3. I thought it was a very, very entertaining third installment in the series or trilogy. I really think they really did a fun, good job being not only just as fun as the first two, but also being entertaining as the first, first two. I really like the voice acting here in all three of these movies, and the voice acting is not bad from everyone, from Andy Samberg to Adam Sandler to Kevin James. This is even the shortest one in an hour and 37 minutes. And, wow. This is also the first movie to be dubbed into Arabic for Saudi Arabian audiences. So, wow, they actually made made it some cool, made some coolness, and also made it fun. And they also decided to bring their end game. So, the answer, the humor is really good here. Once again, I really enjoy the humor aspects of this movie. I really enjoy the animation here. The animation is always fun, always great to see, and always, always there to have a fun time with these movies. Yeah, I do have one little problem, but that's a spoiler, so I won't really say what the problem is in case you ain't seen the movie, but... Overall, I, Jendi Tartakovsky, I think that's how you say his name. I hope I'm saying that right. He's the same one who created Powerpuff Girls and Samurai Jack, which I admit I have never watched Samurai Jack. I know, right? I'm a, I'm a Cartoon Network fan. <laughs> the old Cartoon Network. Now, with the exception of Unikitty, that is the only show... I can really tolerate on the Cartoon Network because it's Unikitty from the Lego movie. It may not be Allison Bree's voice, but it's it's still Unikitty. The, the Teen Titans Go stuff, no. And I'm not watching, do not watch Teen Titans Go the movie this weekend. Sure, you can give the movie a chance. I'm just telling you what's going to happen. You're going to regret it. So, I will give Hotel Transylvania 3 a highly recommend it. It was a very fun time. It's my second favorite. It's my least favorite of the three. But I really enjoy Hotel Transylvania 3. 
Let me know what you guys think about Hotel Transylvania 3 down below. Do you like it? Do you hate it? I will see you guys in more videos. This is Future Filmmaker 3940, and you guys keep it cool. I'm sorry that most of the videos I was supposed to do weren't up yesterday because I was. But I did get my review of Mission Impossible Fallout and Predator movie reviews out to you guys. So, these reviews will be edited. So, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.